Shalom, Kohaloyim, La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let's talk about the bond of sales with GMS and honestly, Akim, and peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen. The whole full elect, Kohaloyim, La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. And um, it's pretty much a continuation to the last video to the probably how about Shemel Shah. So I'm going to start going through the milk again, start going through the basics. Um, which is pivotal because most people don't even understand the basics of the scriptures, man. Like how Shai said, matter of fact, let me read that precept first. Okay? Because I just looked up what is the core message of the Bible according to the uh, what's the worldview and what the Bible is, and it tells you that. Uh, the worldview of the scriptures is mankind falling through sin and um, Jesus Christ coming to restore mankind back to back to the most high. That's not the core message of the Bible, man. Y'all have it wrong. Right. You Christians, because there's a huge controversy right now. I mentioned that in my last video, you know, that, you know, certain camps going up to these churches and causing a huge commotion. And um, but just highlighting Jake's ignorance. Y'all also believe in that as well, man. No, man. The book is about you being restored back to your power through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. It's about the sons of the power, man. The chosen line of Adam. Our inception, okay? How we were in the garden. How the world was created for our sake. How we got ousted out of the garden. How we fell because of sin. Okay? And us making our way back to the garden through Abraham and the Most High establishing a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who were the patriarch of the 12 tribes. The first covenant was the law that was written on stone. The Most High had two stipulations in it. You listen to me, you're going to rule. You don't listen to me, you're going into captivity, and I'm going to curse you. Obviously, you know we chose the second one. Okay, we only had a taste of the kingdom. For the transition from David to Solomon, which was rulership. Outside of that, we were pretty much always in captivity. Jumping from captivity to captivity because we were stiff-necked and we were hard-hearted. Okay? We ran the sacrifices, the, um, the, the, the rituals, the sacrifices. We ran that order into the ground. We abused it. Okay? We fell as a nation. And there was a split in the kingdom due to Solomon um, going off. Okay, so Israel was scattered, man. Mosai sent different prophets out, and we did not listen. Some did, but most didn't. Okay, then the Mosai sent the perfect sacrifice and the perfect high priest, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, as it was prophesied by the prophet Moses, who wrote the Torah. And he restored us back to the Most High as the mediator, man, and as our intercessor. The sons of the power, man. Okay? That's what the book is about, man. It's not about the restoration of mankind. The most I don't care about that, man. You see, and of course, I shall going to say that because you're the wicked. And we expect you to do that. The thief coming not, but to steal, kill, and to destroy. And the most, and Yahweh Shai also said, they what? You are of your father, the devil, man. All right? Truth says he's a liar. When he speaks to lie, um, he speak. Um, he speak it of his own because he's a liar and the father of it. Hell, Yahweh Shai said you were the first murderer, man. Your forefather came. You see, you're the main. You're our main adversary in the scriptures, man. And you, Jake, said ignorant of that, man. And that's the basic rundown of what the scriptures is. Let me get Hosea chapter six, verse one. Go to these precepts, man. Because this, we're in the midst of a huge awakening. All right? So it says, Hosea 6 and 1, it says, Come, let us return unto Yahweh Bashem El Shah. This is the main message that we're also prophesying on the streets. Telling Israel to come into the marriage. All right? Join back to your power, man. Because we're his wife, man. Okay? All right? And this is the book of Hosea. He told Hosea to get a harlot. Because Why? We were being harlots towards the Most High by worshiping other gods, man. And into all different forms of idolatry. So we got ousted out of the land. But he also saying to come let us return unto Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. That's how merciful the Heavenly Father is. Starting with the elect, though. All right. If we have torn, he's the one that put us in captivity. And he will heal us through Yahweh Shah's blood. 
you have smitten and he will bind us up and he's binding up the 12 tribes right now okay sealing up the breaches after two days will he revive us a days a thousand years so we're in the midst of the third day right now and in the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight immortality okay started with Yahweh Shai so we're beginning to be revived quickened by the word man okay and you know you Christians love going to Paul and what did Paul say we love to do a video on the Gentiles you know because you are ignorant of that as well and those are Israelites who fell away man, from the covenant so I'm talking about the natural heathen okay they were never part of this in the first place so how the hell can they be grafted back in man? doesn't make any sense the Most High never made a covenant with the heathen ever okay his expectations of them is low, man. What did he say in Amos? He said, you only have I known. I don't know the other nations. I didn't make a covenant or agreement with them. Man. King David praised the Lord for that. But what did Paul say? Romans 11, 1. He said, I say then, have the Most High cast away his people? Huh? Because people think that. Right? Most High ain't dealing with Israel no more. He's dealing with everybody. That's not what the scripture says. That's what Paul said again. I say then, have the Most High cast away his people, the Most High forbidden. He did not. And he said, if you get rid of the sun and the moon, then I will get rid of Israel. The sun and the moon, those two celestial bodies are still in the sky, man. So the Israelites are still here, which is being called by different names, because that's a part of the curses. Proverbs and bywords. Let's read on. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. The Most High have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Would he not with the scripture say of Elijah how he make it intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, So the Most High never cast away his people, man. That was an everlasting covenant he made with our fathers, man. Okay? And we being made alive through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai came for his people, which are you Negroes, Hispanics, and you Native American Indians, man. The Hebrew Israelites according to the book and you have our people that are scattered amongst the nations okay this is this word is for you man this book is for you all right that's why Yahweh Shai said John 5 21 he said for as the father raised up the dead and quickened them even so the son quickened whom he will which is who his sheep his elect man and we're being made alive we may made quickened by the word you came into this truth you heard the call the prophets out there teaching and you understood that's you being made what quicken again because we were all dead like the scripture says dry bones okay dry bones man but now we have the rivers of living water let me get the Isaiah 44 chapter Let's see this here boy so Gino Jennings, Creflo, the rest of you Christian ministers, which you guys know the truth. You all heard the truth. Okay, so the blood is completely on your hand and you know you're Israelites. Okay, but you can't go back on that lie anymore. You in too deep. Because if you come out and say we were right, right, which that's the smart thing to do. To hell with what people think, man. Your salvation is on the line. Let me take it any further. Your legacy is also on the line. You're going to be known as a false prophet, man, in the world to come, man. Even though you're going to be forgiven, okay? But <laughs> that's going to be your lot, man. All right? I should say that's, that's, that is your lot, a.k.a. that's also going to be your legacy, man. Right? Anyway, let's read Isaiah 44, 1. Yet now here, or Jacob, my servant, unless you guys repent. I'm not talking what you're not, okay? Especially Creflo, man. You a goddamn thief, man. You see? I'm talking about you, uh, and you didn't even say you repented. I look back at the video he said he was wrong but he's, he's not going to say he repents um, because if it wasn't for him going down that road he wouldn't be on the road he is right now whatever bullshit he said man just prideful man all right well Jacob my servant Israel whom I have chosen the Savior Abba Shemel Shah that may be informed thee from the womb which will help thee fear not O Jacob my servant thou just run whom I have chosen most I chose Israel period for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. And our people are thirsty. That's where you're going from different churches, hopping from different religions, going to the mosque, right? Constantly looking and searching, right? 
and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. That's right now. Okay? We're being revived and made alive again. By that what? That living water. You see? We found who our soul loveth. Like as Solomon said in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. We found Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. All right? Well, we'll take it even further. Well, um, like Yahweh Shai said, you didn't choose me, I chose you. Okay, so he woke us up, man, through his mercy. And they shall spring up as among the grass and willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. We ain't niggas, we ain't spicks, okay? We ain't no African American, we not no West Indian, we not no Hispanic or Latino, okay? We calling ourselves by the name of Jacob, Yasharala, okay? A prince of the power, man. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh Shemel Shah and shall surname himself by the name of Israel. That is who we are. That's what this book is about, the restoration of the sons of the power. The Israelites, man. The Adamites, man. Okay? But the rest of our people, you're just blinded. Okay? Yahweh Shia came for his people, but only the elect right now. The rest of you are blinded, man. Let me see if you get that precept. I think it's John 9, 30. Let me see. There we go. John chapter 9, verse 39. <laughs> Yahweh Shia said, For a judgment I come into this world. That they which see might not see, and they which see might be made blind. You see, let me read it again. For judgment I came into this world, that they which see not see not, they which see not might see, and they which see might be blind. Why? Okay, so Yahweh Shai, we were blind at one point, but he's the light, man. He restored our sight. The rest of our people, you're just blinded, man. You're condemned. Okay? You're condemned. You heard the word, man. And he used a stumbling block unto you, man. So you want to, um, like the scripture says, you want to um, hear about that other Jesus, Cesare Borgia. You know, the man that came for everybody, man. <laughs> and you're going to be destroyed, man. All right? Let me read, um, so we got to do this, man. I, mean, I think it's 2 Chronicles 19, verse 9. I'll increase up in a minute. Um, no, it's 2 Chronicles. We get uh, Hosea 14. Let me scratch that scripture. Hosea 14 and 1. Okay, so call him thy Yahweh Shah. O Israel, return unto Yahweh Shah thy power. For thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Yes, we fell. The sons of the power. Okay? Did not um, the Apostle Paul say that the, um, in Romans chapter 8, verse 16, that the um, spirit bear witness with our spirit. I think when you read verse 14 further up, um, we get that. You got Romans eight fourteen. He said, "For as many are led by the Spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the power." All right. And people get simple minded. Read Romans the ninth chapter. He's talking to the Israelites, man. Okay, we're the sons of the power that never changed. He said, "The other sons of Abraham; these are not the children of the Most High." See, and he tells you that. Um, the whole creation groaneth in verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and trilleth in pain together until now. Okay. Let's read on. It says. Uh, in verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the power. That's what I wanted to get, man. All right. And that's what we in a. Um, that's at the. That's at the. Um, the moment. In time that we in right now, the sons of the power being restored. Okay, let me jump back to Hosea 14. Just want to bring that point out quick. Let me get that Hosea chapter 14, verse 1 again. 
O Israel, return unto Yahweh Bashim El Shah, thy power, for thou hast fallen by an iniquity. Take with you words and turn to the Lord, man, turn to Yahweh Bashim El Shah. That's what we tell our people on the streets. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously, so we will render the calves of our lips, and that's our service. Okay? When you read Hebrews the 13th chapter, that's our sacrifice, man. I was going out there in the highways and hedges, and what? Bringing the word out, man. Feeding his sheep and feeding his lamb. Okay? A shore shall not save us. That's who the Assyrians go back to. We will not ride upon horses, neither will they say any more to the work of our hands. So you can't trust in America. You can't trust in the oppressor. You are gods, for in thee the fatherless findeth mercy. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. Who is he talking to? Israel, man. For mine anger is turned away from him. And that's how we woke up to this truth, man. The most I had mercy, man. The three days and a half. Okay? In Revelation the 11th chapter, you just read Hosea the 6th chapter. The third day you shall raise us up. Okay? The most high is what? He's healing. I will backslide it. All right? I will be as the dew upon Israel, and he shall grow as a lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. Oh, there was another precept like that too, man. When you go into Ezekiel the 31st chapter on the Adamites. Let's read on though. His branches shall spread and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his smell as Lebanon. So we're going to be what? We're going to be exalted again, man. Sweet savor unto the Lord, man. And I, I think even Balaam said that, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> I think in, um, let me read verse 7 out there. I'm going to jump to Numbers 24. They that dwell under his shadow tells you in Psalms the 91st chapter um, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the what the shadow of the almighty man so that's that's going into the elect we're the ones that's abiding under the shadow of the almighty man we're in the secret place is what the word man aka Yahweh Shai okay he's only revealed unto the elect they that dwell under his shadow shall return they shall revive as the corn and grow as the vine the scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon, man. So this truth is spreading the gospel, okay? The restoration of the sons of the power, man. The Most High is restoring us again, you see? And I think Balaam also said that, and I think in Numbers the 24th chapter, it's not there, just move on to the last scripture. There we go. Here we go. Numbers 24, verse 1. I'm going to read on down. Now, when Balaam saw that it pleased you, how about Shemel Shah to bless Israel? He went not as at other times to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. All right, because Balaam was a prophet for hire, man. Or well, more by the most I put the spirit on. You see? And Balak wanted him to curse Israel, but nah, he realized the most high blessed Israel. And he had a vision of the latter days. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abide in his tents, according to their tribes. And the Spirit of the Most High came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, have said, And the man whose eyes are open have said, He have said, which heard the words of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty fallen into a trance, but having his eyes open. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel! As the valleys are they spread forth, and as the gardens of the riverside, as the trees of the light owls with Yahweh Bashem El Shah have planted, as the cedar trees beside the waters, man, he shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be many in many waters, man. Israel was going to be scattered, man, spread all over, all right, and his king shall be um, higher than Agag. And his kingdom shall be exalted, man. Call on him, Lai Yahweh Bashem El Shah, man. Okay. Like I said, we had a taste of the king from David to Solomon, but now, okay, that's going into now, man. Because he tells you what a star was going to come out of Jacob. That's Yahweh Shah. Anyway, let me read on. I think I read verse eight. I'm going to go to the the next and last precept. The Most High brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations, his enemies, and he shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows, man. Okay? 
because we're the Heavenly Father's weapon and battle acts of war. Okay, and starting with Yahweh Shah, we're going to subjugate everybody. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Okay, and I'm going to go to this last precept. No, two more to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Okay, so, you know, for you Christians who earn not know the scriptures, that's what the Bible is about, man. The restoration of the sons of the power, the Israelites. Okay, we're known as the Adamites and now and the sons of the power. And now we call what the Israelites, man. Okay. He who has power with the most high, man. So is either you wake up to your nationality or you get put to death, man. Okay. And you get it on the other side. We get to Sirach chapter 36. Start read verse 11. Sirach 36 and 11. So pray he sent up. He said, gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. And we were all one. O Yahweh Bashem El Shah, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name, and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. And Geno Jennings, read out of the Apocrypha, man. So, how come you never see these precepts, man? O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Okay, that's where the kingdom going to be set up at. That's the headquarters, I should say. Okay. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. The prophets, man. Okay? The prophets, man. The Mosai raising up prophets, man. In Babylon and other parts of the world, man. It says, Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Call him Shah. Raising up prophets, man. Okay? And that's what? Bringing Israel back to their remembrance. Okay? And when the elect is sealed, as the scripture says, because um, he's going to bring us back into our homeland and we're going to have the new covenant. All right. And we go to the New Testament, we close it out with that. So he's gathering all the tribes of Jacob together. Let's get Hebrews, the eighth chapter. Because if you ask Christians, what's the new covenant? They say they're underneath the new covenant right now. No understanding, man. The new covenant hasn't even been fulfilled yet. And that's for the Israelites, man. Hebrews 8 and 8, the main point of verse, is in verse 12. But we we'll read verse 8. For finding fault with them who the Israelites, he saved, Behold, the days come, save Yahweh but Shemel Shah. I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, the northern kingdom, and the house of Judah, the southern kingdom. Not according to the covenant I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, save the Lord. Amen. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. The restoration of the sons of the power, man. Okay. Putting our laws, putting the laws in our inward parts so we won't be able to sin or fall again. All right. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor. And every man his brother saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Man. And this is also the point I want to get at verse 12. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities, iniquities will I remember no more. Koloim la yahalba shemiyam shah. Koloim la yahalba shemiyam shah for being an Israelite. And Adawan Ratazah were the Israel of the Heavenly Father, man, the elect, man. All right. So that I'm going to say, call him Lai Hao Bashim Shah. Shalom.